See? That's how you feel? Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks, back with another video. And in today's video, as you guys can see by the title, today I'm talking to you about the KD11 by Nike. I don't know why I said it that way, so I've never said it that way, but it is the Nike KD11. Let's get it. So the back-to-back -back champion and the NBA Finals MVP is on his 11th shoe by the Nike Mandem. And it's one hell of a shoe, so let's get straight into it. So starting off with the aesthetics of the shoe, the KD11 is a nice revolution from the KD10. We saw in the KD9 and the KD10 it was super similar, but the KD11 is that nice jump because it is a jump. Clean on foot, clean in hand, does the absolute trick. Let's talk about how these perform. So starting out with my favorite part of the shoe and probably the most, um, what's the word? Most anticipated? Anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Man's one. Got the words. <laughs> <laughs> Man's got vocabulary, fam. You've got words. <laughs> You've had words. The most anticipated part of the shoe, the cushioning. For the first time ever, Nike React sees Nike Zoom full length. In both, there is somehow full length Zoom and full length React in the same shoe. So what do you think full length Zoom and full length reactors go into feel like. By combining two of Nike's best cushionings, full length zoom and full length react, you are going to get a great reaction. Pun intended. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> As you can expect, you're getting the best from all worlds. The low profile responsiveness, along with that comfort that Nike React gives you throughout the shoe from all angles, so it does do the absolute trick. It does feel very bouncy to begin with, Almost too bouncy, but you do get the hang of it and it does break in amazingly. So the cushioning has to get a cheeky nine out of 10. It really does. It would only make sense. It would only make sense. So moving on to my next favorite part of the shoe, the traction. The KD11 sees a wavy circular pattern which works for all directions and does the absolute trick yet again. Now we spoke about the same thing in the KD10s as well. The traction is fantastic and it holds up really well on mildly dusty courts and of course your clean courts. When we're talking dusty courts, of course it's not gonna hold up because nothing does on dusty courts. Step course, skip to that lane, lane. When I was on those mildly dusty courts and clean courts, I did feel like I was taken care of. My step backs, defensive slides, twist and turn, all felt really, really good and it didn't actually pick up that much dust. Looking at the pan and the rubber compound on this colorway, would I take them outdoors? Probably not. You've heard it here before, we don't really like taking translucents outdoors because they don't work the way they should and they don't last as well as they should. But the pattern itself, if you can get it in solid, I think would hold up okay. So with all that being said, the traction also comes in at a also very cheeky eight out of 10. Very cheeky, it's extremely cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> so moving on to my next favorite part of the shoe, the materials. Here in the KD11, we see that usual suspect of a full construction of flying it in the upper, which again fits like a sock, which it has done in the KD10 and has just proved to be amazing. Also in the KD9s as well. Here in the KD11, it feels absolutely amazing, super close to foot, and of course, giving it that light aspect as well. To accompany the flying it, we also have some overlays on the high wear areas here and here as well. And then of course, we've got some suede at the back to actually accompany the hill counter, which does also help with materials. So with all that being said, the materials also comes in at another cheeky eight out of 10. It's a cheeky shoe. It's doing its thing for sure, for sure. So moving on to the fit of the KD11. The KD11 fits pretty well. Thanks to that flying it upper with the overlays, along with its padded Achilles area as well, it does hold the foot extremely well. Feels like a sock and just as light as a sock. The fit on the shoe, it's just fantastic. So when we're talking size of the KD11, I'm a UK 12, so I got a UK 12. They fit just like its predecessors, the KD9 and the KD10. Thanks to that fly knit, they fit very, very true to size. So no problems there. However, KD himself is a very well-known narrow footed guy, kind of like his whole, the meaner, he is just narrow, 
is hella narrow. Just like his feet, so the shoe itself is also very narrow. So wide footers, this may not be the shoe for you, but it's definitely worth trying on thanks to that Flyknit. I myself am more of a regular foot, so I didn't have any issues when putting them on. Again, that Flyknit really took care of that. So the size of the shoe is definitely true to size, but geared towards regular to narrow feet. The fit overall was pretty good, but not noticeably incredible. So for that reason, it gets a seven out of 10, which is still on track to do great things. Doing great things so far. So last and definitely least, support. Unfortunately, this is where the shoe goes left. Yes, it's the left shoe as well. So it's actually the right hand side. It's, if you're viewing but it's the left shoe. I know, but I didn't say anything about the right side. I know, but if you're viewing it from the screen, it you put it to your right. I'm but just, I didn't say it's on the left side of the screen now, did I, Flo? Timmy, I'm trying to help you. No, you're not. I'm trying you're to trying, trying to trying to trying to be smart, okay? It's the left shoe. Where the shoe went left. Just say bars and guess me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so the unfortunate truth is, this is where all the great things about the AKD11 all just don't mesh when they need to. The support in the KD11 is similar to what we've already seen in the past couple shoes. There is barely any lateral support in this shoe. So when we're talking as good as the traction is, and then a shoe that fits so well, as soon as you hit that defensive slide or that step back, your foot really falls out of the shoe and it is not comfortable. Something that really throws off my game because I do feel like I'm gonna roll, it definitely bothers me massively. The padding in the Achilles area does help, but when it comes to lateral movement and really being held inside the shoe, the KD11 only goes up to a five. That's tough. That's tough, but that's what you get when you don't improve on support. You sound salty, man. I'm salty, because I said this about the KD10 and no one listened to me. <laughs> Why did you go from both sides? Because <laughs> you're trying to hide behind the camera flow. <laughs> no one listened to me. I said it. No one listen. Go back to the video, yeah, where I said it in the KD10, and you ain't done nothing about the KD11. <laughs> Y'all had a whole year, Nike. Yeah? I didn't rush you. You know this is all great in the video, by the way, bro. I, that's what I needed to be. If you're watching this Nike Mandem, you had a whole year. It didn't change anything. It's your life. <laughs> it's your own, isn't it? <laughs> So after taking all things into consideration and looking at all the scores, the KD11 comes in at a 7.4. With cushioning, materials, traction, absolutely taken care of, just let down by that lack of support, it's a pretty good score for his 11th shoe in the line. But at the same time, the shoe does look pretty clean. So, get you some. Get you some. Why not? Why not? No pun intended by why not and Russell Westbrook and KD, that was completely unintentional. Um, I know y'all ain't really friends, so um, in that case, um, uh, uh, there's no reason not to. So alright guys, there you have it. As always, make sure you hit that thumbs up and show your support. We really, really appreciate it. It helps us out so, so much. So keep hitting that thumbs up button and we'll keep putting out videos. And of course, make sure you comment down below what you guys think of the KD11. If you try them on, we'd love to know what you guys think about them. And if you haven't, are you going to get a pair for yourself? So for everything outside of YouTube, don't forget to hit our socials. The Instagram is purekicks.ig and Twitter is purekicks underscore TW. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing when it comes to Pure Kicks. Hit the bell next to it to ensure you get notified every time we drop a new video, whether it be our performance reviews, our comparisons, whether it be our NBA talks. Hit the bell and the subscribe button so you never miss a thing when it comes to Pure Kicks. So all right, guys, that's it from me. This is the Nike KD11. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.